pandemic, then protests, a low salary. I would say it was definitely considerably underpaid there. High numbers of calls. Do we have the protection that we pay for? And every city in Ohio fighting over a shrinking number of police candidates. We cannot just give this job to anyone. It's no wonder we found Cleveland police hemorrhaging officers. Tonight, part three of our investigation, dangerously understaffed. We first told you how staff shortages make it tough to solve murder cases. Then the cost to you, the taxpayer, millions of dollars in overtime. And now News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison reveals serious concerns about the future of the police force. The first time. They're not doing a great job at all. Dolores Daniels' family called police. They waited. They're doing a horrible job. Hours. Several hours. The next response? 911, what's your emergency? Uh, worse. One day they never even showed. So, when she found her car vandalized one morning, Dolores didn't call for help. She asked in person. I felt like it's better to come to the police station than wait. For years, News 5 investigators have told you about Cleveland Police's slow response times for less serious crimes. Now, there's another reason. Residents wait. We found since the pandemic started, Cleveland Police has lost 25% of its force. Oh wow, I never even knew that. Of that, about half retired. More than a third quit. So where did they go? At least 42 went to other Ohio police departments, including Elyria, Euclid, Strongsville, and Solon. One of the, the big things or big reasons was the, the difference in salary. Solon yeah. is where former Cleveland patrolman Aaron Bledsoe now works. And just six months of being here in Seoul and I made 20,000 more a year. That's no surprise. Look, we surveyed 60 Ohio police departments. The starting salary for officers in one of the state's most dangerous cities was close to the bottom. You're working more and earning less, and I think that's kind of backwards. Cleveland patrol officers max out at 67 grand, 10,000 less than Solon's starting salary. The job has never paid better in its history, never. Police chiefs like Richmond Heights' Tom Wetzel. And yet we're, we're struggling. Are also actively recruiting from other departments. Starting officers make 58,000 annually. To deal with dwindling numbers of new applicants. We cannot just give this job to anyone. For his last three openings, only 11 people applied. We had, used to have a recruitment pool, now we have a recruitment puddle. I don't think I've ever seen it um, this bad. Even Columbus police came to Cleveland. We had the, the protests, we had the, the COVID. To poach officers. The calls that we normally used to get as far as what people interested in being police officers, um, you don't see it. I want to do everything I can as mayor to support law enforcement to keep our streets safe. What's the Cleveland mayor's plan to retain and recruit police officers? After all, 404 officers left during the pandemic and 252 are currently eligible to retire. Justin Bibb declined our interview request, but has acknowledged pay is an issue. We are working as quickly as we can to be a good faith partner with our police union uh, to make sure we can address the issues that we know are important to have a competitive and attractive environment. They need to figure it out and figure it out soon. I know that. As summer starts, Cleveland remains more than 250 officers short. That's sad. So do we have enough police? Our thanks to Sarah Buttison and the News 5 investigators. Now, police recruitment across the nation is a struggle right now. According to a survey by the Police Executive Research Forum, last year there was a 45% spike in police retirements and a 20% increase in resignations. Police cited low morale and department scrutiny for driving those officers away. To watch all three installments of Sarah's dangerously understaffed investigation, you can check out our News 5 app.